been it's been uh, interesting to kind of go through this uh, into the process, um, you know, outside of the race car and, and just really, you know, I think in the end, Marcus was a big piece of why I came back and drove this year just because of the fact that, you know, we he, he explained why it was important to to come back and celebrate with the fans and each market was different and, and you've had different success in different markets and it gives everybody an opportunity to, to kind of go from for their last time to the racetrack and and you know when you've when you've been around this for 20 some years and and you know when you really step back and look at it and listen to people's perspective it, it really kind of puts it all into perspective for for me and and so listening to tony and listening to marcus and several other people that that were involved in you know when is the right time it just it, it made sense and and for me it's really been interesting because it's not anything that i would have ever done before um, so it's way outside of, of the things that, um, I would have typically ever done just because I don't like, I don't like anything about, uh, anything that has to do with myself, <laughs> um, because I always look at it as arrogant and cocky, but I think with these, with these circumstances, it's just different and, and you can kind of let your guard down and, and really uh, enjoy it. And, and, you know, Texas has been a, just a, a great racetrack for us through the years and, and being able to, um, you know, know that. Every time we used to step, step foot in here in an Xfinity car, you, you were expected to win a race and, and finally broke that barrier uh, on the cup side after so many shortfalls. And, and so it's, it's fun to, especially at a place like this where you've, you've been fortunate to have success.